Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back, finally, to yet another Five Nights at Freddy's news video. It's only been... a little bit since I last did one of these, and so I have quite the catching up to do. However, today we're only going to be focusing on the news that we got in Docco's charity stream over the weekend. If you missed it, it was a fantastic stream. Docco was able to raise over $25,000 for the Samaritans. It was truly fantastic. I was even on there and played Among Us with him and the boys. And also, while raising a lot of charity, we also got a lot of news, ranging from the Hex plushies to Pop Goes Evergreen and also some of Docco's songs. So that's what we got lined up for the video. If you guys enjoy and you want more news, consider subscribing. Like I just said, I have a whole lot of news to catch up on. Also, if you want to support me more than just hitting the like button and subscribing, maybe consider buying some merchandise. It's always linked down below. But anyways, let's start off by looking at the Hex plushies. I'm sure I don't need to explain Hex at this point anymore because I feel like y'all should know what it is by now. If you don't, it's Docco's brand. We're going to talk about it quite a bit in this video. And they're collaborating with Scott and FNAF to create some FNAF plushies. Taking a look at the first one here, this is the finalized version of the Freddy Fazbear plush. I think all the plushies look absolutely adorable. I love all of them. And the best part about these plushies is that you can take off their limbs. It sounds a bit dark, but you can also take off their accessories. As you can see, Freddy is able to take off his microphone. And so you're able to mix and match the plushies together, which I think is a fantastic idea. Moving on, we have the finalized version of Chica. And with Chica, not only can you take off the limbs, but also all of her accessories, including the bib, the cupcake, and even the cupcake plate. Here's also a few close up pictures of the Chica bib and also the Chica cupcake. Moving on next, we have Fredbear himself. And and he has the walkie-talkie from Sister Location Custom Night. That's such a nice little detail, you know, they really could have just reused Freddy's microphone, but no, they added something different. It's also a nice little secret and a nod back to Sister Location all these years ago. And of course, you can't have Fredbear without his main partner, Spring Bonnie. It's worth mentioning that the knife is still a prototype and they will be changing it before the release of the plushie. Which, by the way, these are all estimated to come out sometime later this year. Though I do believe Docco did say that Fredbear and Spring Bonnie will be after the FNAF 1 game. And if you want a better look at the plushies, Docco actually got them in person, finally. So I'll leave his video linked down below if you want to go check them out in more detail. Staying on topic with Hex, Docco announced the Hex and Friday Night Funkin' mod, titled Friday Night Hexing, which is going to have five songs, cutscenes, and a great story of boyfriend and girlfriend, figuring out how to escape the Hex universe. And he actually featured one of the five songs included in the mod, I'll play a section of that right now. <laughs> Moving on now, let's talk about Pop Goes Evergreen, because we got a lot a stuff to talk about. Kane and his team threw together a lot of great surprises for the stream, including our first look at the newly designed Sarah the Squirrel. But first up, here is the signed poster for Sarah. As you can see, you can get a glimpse of her new design with the poster. It looks like she's now sporting a blue dress as well as strumming along on her blue guitar. And after that poster, we got a wallpaper featuring Sarah. Now, as you can see, we're getting closer to that full reveal, but Already, the detail on the model looks absolutely insane. Next up, we got what is probably the coolest thing we've ever gotten for Pop Goes Evergreen so far. We get a look at Sarah inside the vent. The lighting, the model, everything looks awesome. I love this so much, and as you can see, the lasers that were in the original Pop Goes have been replaced by some sort of actual heating system. Looks like something that you would see in an oven or toaster, and again, just Sarah peeking out from the darkness is insane. I freaking love it so much. And finally, here are the full renders of the brand new Sarah. I think she looks absolutely insane. I freaking love the detail we've seen so far with Pop Goes Evergreen. Something that is interesting Interesting to note, it looks like she loses her dress and her tail as well when she goes on the prowl. Luckily though, she is wearing something underneath the dress. That that would have been bad. I don't think Pop Goes is that type of restaurant. Then again, Kane did make adult theory for Sister Location, so 
I don't know, his mind's in the gutter. And for the final topic of today's video, let's talk about some of Daco's songs, because we got quite a lot of info in the stream. First up, we got our first proper preview of the Lonely Freddy song, which is coming out this Saturday in a few days. <laughs> It's looking absolutely fantastic, the song sounds incredible, I cannot wait to hear it. And I will be doing a reaction, so if you don't want to miss that, again, consider subscribing. Some very interesting news, Daco and DeHughstar are actually scrapping out of stock for now. They say they want to rework the song, which I can completely understand. However, Daco did sing some mainly a cappella with a bit of background tracking of about half of the original out of stock song. It's pretty long, it's about two minutes, I don't know if I'm gonna play the full thing, but Here's at least a sneak preview, or if I decide, the full thing. With a smile that haunts me, like a human eyes that taunt me, like a human tears that blush like, like a human, I'm tired, like a human, like a human smiley haunts me, like a demon eyes that taunt me, like a demon teeth that crush things, like a demon, like a demon, like a demon. Ah, storm is brewing. I, I feel it in my bones Getting kinda late My mom is sure to wait Who went and turn the lights off? Hear my cry <laughs> My plea tonight Cause he's come alive It's do or die Lights out. How the stock was a lie, a lie. But what I knew deep inside, I denied. So what I fought with a price, a price. I now pay with my life. You took me by surprise and got your way tonight. I guess there is a price to pay. The dark is creeping in And lights begin to dim As hope said it That's goodbye Run, hide But don't believe you're safe Cause you can't run away When the light is dying I will make it Easy on the bite Cause teeth as sharp as my will be as true It's prey The smile that haunts me Like a human eyes that taunt me Like a human teeth that just look Like a human Like a hum- Okay, I'm stopping now That was way too much of a preview Next up, we got some more info on Darkest Desire 2 Which if I remember correctly, Darko hopefully wants to have the song out by Halloween First up, we have this amazing poster done by Breddy. It looks absolutely insane. As you can see, Darko and the brand new design to Glitch Trap are kind of taking over the world. And it says, give in and focus on the colors. Darko also supplied some teaser images for the song. As you can see, it looks like Darko's having a panic attack. Then we have a shot of Glitch Trap in the void. And then we have Darko and Glitch Trap talking in the void, and Darko doesn't look all too pleased. And finally, the last topic for today, Darko's brand new song, which again, if I remember correctly, I'm an idiot, I didn't write these things down. I'm pretty sure he wants to have this out for Christmas. And this is a very unique song, because it's actually a cover of a song. That 
ladies and gentlemen, was a preview of the FNAF Oogie Boogie song from The Nightmare Before Christmas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up. It's actually a horrid bop. And Darko's gonna be kind of twisting that song into a FNAF security breach song, which sounds insane. Darko says that the premise of the song is gonna be Vanessa capturing Glamrock Freddy and throwing him down into the layer of glitch trap, which if you've seen Nightmare Before Christmas is basically exactly that. Santa being captured by the kids and then being thrown down into the Oogie Boogie layer. And that is all the news we got during Darko's charity stream. Again, I got a whole bunch of news to talk about. I think I was gone for like nearly a month. I'm so, so sorry. Then we got Darko's song on Saturday. I still got to talk about this goddamn book and its stories. But honestly, I don't know if I can handle the sea bonnies. So if you guys don't want to miss out on those, again, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Hopping into the jalopy, gonna go for a ride to the pizza shop with a friend. We're jumping in a rock until the sun goes down, and the moon is shining forever and ever, forever and ever. <laughs>